Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. This pick a card reading is about highlights of your next chapter. I did this for Patreon and I felt like I wanted to do this for YouTube also. So highlights of your next chapter, we have four groups to select from group number one, crow, number two, moth, number three, tiger. Pause the video if you have to to see which group you're resonating with. Timestamps are always in the description box below. So let's jump into these messages. Hello, group number one. So group number one, when it comes to highlights of your next chapter, when I was laying out the three cards, when it comes to your group, I get the feeling that you guys are kicking and... <coughs> excuse me you guys are kicking and screaming into your next chapter and kicking and screaming into your next chapter because of the fear of the unknown so when it comes to these groups this group for me would be my people who have the number one within their birthday or the number one within their birth month so you could be born on the first on the 14th whatever day that has a number one in it and a month with the number one in it because with that number one energy the number one energy deals with the identity it's an i am energy and for that it's like you would have to see representations of something that you want to pursue in others meaning you need examples in order to feel safe or secure enough to take a chance on something so if you don't have any representation on a path that you're feeling pulled towards and representation, meaning, yes, you could say pursue to be a certain kind of artist and you see a lot of artists out there. But at the same time, that's that there might be representation when it comes to that, but it's not practical. So two things when it comes to this group is practicality and represent rep representation, practicality and representation is very important when it comes to this group because if something doesn't practically make sense and when i say practically make sense meaning that say within you you want to be some kind of an artist or creative but at the same time um in order to pursue that path it seems like the people who make it almost wins the lottery where there might be another part of you that says okay but i but i also enjoy politics and law so I want to become a lawyer or whatnot, but it's 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 more that you like the uh, the respect that lawyers get and you enjoy certain aspects of it, and also to making that happen seems more sure, more secure than you know taking a chance when it comes to your art, when it comes to your path, when it comes to the creative process. So when it comes to this group, yes, I get kicking and screaming into your next chapter and kicking and screaming into your next chapter for me would look like, say, a person pursues a path and they go as far as, you know, getting the highest education pertaining to this thing only later to find themselves feeling like something's missing, feeling, feeling unhappy, feeling incomplete and then forced now to give um, the thing that they've always wanted to give a chance, but it didn't come naturally where they didn't make up their mind that, okay, I'm going to just go after this and give it my all. And there's no plan B. There's just this plan A and I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to create a secure sy system for myself. So an example of that might be say the person that they, their dream life is to be some kind of a, a creative so they find some kind of a job that pays their bills and they're able to 
survive from this job, but this job also allow enough free time for them to pour into this thing that they love. So it's like, you know, say a person creates a situation for like that for themselves and they're giving something their all, you know, that's a different type of situation where with this group, I get more of like a person being dragged into a thing, meaning that you try everything else and, 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 and find that like not feeling sustained, not feeling satisfied. And it's almost like feeling forced to going after what it is that you really want. Um, yeah, feeling forced to go after what it is that you really want. And I get for some, it's the fear of giving it a shot and realizing that you're not that good. But when it comes to this group, whatever it is that you're afraid of, I believe that you'll be really, really good at it. And that's where that fear comes from. But there's this fear of, you know, going into it and being rejected or going into it and being confirmed that you're really not that good. So instead, there is this focus energy on everything else and anything else but where it should go. And eventually, I feel like life will pull you in that direction. And I could see some people also who kind of sleep on their dreams and then they have children who show similar interests and then the children probably be the one to manifest that dream manifest that reality i don't like situations though when people were too afraid to do something for themselves but then then after they force that burden on their child and make it their child's dream to try to pursue a thing that the child might not be into and then it you know kind of looks abusive so when it comes to the uh, dice, we have the number six, Gemini, and the moon. So when it comes to highlights from your next chapter, there's emphasis on your day-to-day -day schedule, Gemini, energy, and the moon. So when it comes to this group, a lot of you here might have certain interests in singing, um, some kind of uh, singing could be a thing. I think of like a podcaster someone that works with children mothers families and children like a therapist some kind of a life coach or social worker counselor type of situation or someone you know doing some nonprofit work nonprofit work or starting a nonprofit organization um interest when it comes to work that deals with family homes children mothers family homes children's or if you're not doing it on a hands on in a hands-on way then it's like having a podcast where you're speaking on things that might have something to do with what i just mentioned um or you're creating art that ties into that in some way so when it comes to this group definitely big creative people who have a strong where when i look at them the moon gemini and the number six are all connected here's why because the moon deals with home, family, and nurturing. The number six deals with home, family, nurturing also. And Gemini deals with family, siblings, community. So there's big community aspect when it comes to this group. So this group has a strong interest when it comes to working with the community in some way. When I say working with the community in some way, like I mentioned, you know, there's a social worker, there's a therapist, there's a counselor. Um, there's a nonprofit organization. There's the podcaster. Um, there's anyone that has a strong interest to work within the community, to be of assistance within the community. So let's see what else comes out here. I love these new cards that I just got. These cards are called Earth Woman Tarot. If you like these cards, the link for them is in the description box below. I would appreciate it. If you purchase them through that link so that I can benefit, um, I would appreciate that. If you like them and choose to purchase them, um, I would appreciate if you purchase them through the link so I could benefit if you like them. Um, okay. All right, so when it comes to the next chapter, when it comes to the next chapter, um, highlights of your next chapter. So overall, we have the Two of Swords energy here. So when it comes to the last chapter, I think of the One of Swords energy and someone um, 
like getting an idea to go towards something. But at the same time, what I mentioned earlier is that whatever the thing is that you have the inspiration to go for, there's this fear when it comes to going after it, a fear of going after it, because in some cases, maybe it's something that feels like um, this doesn't happen for people like me type of situation. In other cases, it might just feel like... Um, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's not realistic enough. And we have the three of wands energy here. So it's like um, wanting to see something through. And right now there might be this stuckness, not knowing how to go about making it happen, not knowing how to go about the next step. And the challenge energy here is we have the seven of pentacles and the three of cups. So the challenge energy with the seven of pentacles, when it comes to this group, it might money is a, a concern here. Money is a concern in the sense that I don't know how I'll be able to juggle, pay my bills and go after this thing at the same time. So what would if I was this group, the thing that I would be focusing on right now is sitting down and writing down all of my debt, if there is any and um, being clear about all the debt that I have trying my best to get rid of any that I can get rid of um, uh, in no time and then create a budget for myself. But at the same time, too, when it comes to this group, a managing of the finances is the first thing that needs to happen. And when I say managing of the finances, that means that you know how much money you need every month to pay all of your bills, your living expenses, buy groceries and all of that. So you know how much it takes every month to run your life every month you know how much it takes to buy your groceries pay all your bills run your life and when it comes to how much it takes you know the difference between how much you make paying your bills what you have left over if you don't have anything left over and focusing on how you could become better managing your finances so that you can um either eliminate unnecessary debt and monthly expenses and come up with a plan for yourself. Come up with a plan for yourself that says, okay, I can live off of, um, say you, 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 you get rid of all the unnecessary debt. Maybe you clear up your credit card debts and whatever. And you say, okay, I can live off of $3,000 every month. And living off of that might mean that, you know, you have to live within a budget, but it's, it's doable and you decide that okay um i'm going to work hard save up some money so that i can have some security funds and for the next three years i'm going to live off of just that while i try to pursue a career in xyz when it comes to this group i get that for some of you you might feel overwhelmed when it comes to your financial situation and from that you 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 might like give up. You might start thinking about the possibilities of making something happen and then you give up. But unexpectedly, we have the 10 of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So this is saying, telling me that um, some fa some something about your financial situation, um, you know, there's an improvement where that's concerned. So there is an improvement where your financial situation is, is, is concerned. But at the same time, when I look at like the page of cups in the reversal position, along with the seven of wands, it's like, even though something comes through financially, that creates a way. It's like you psych yourself out. So when it comes to this group, I get the feeling of someone saying money is the issue for their situation. But then the money comes in and you end up moving into a more expensive home or buying another car and then putting your dream off, putting your dream off. And when it comes to this group, I get that it's hard for you to live with yourself whenever you put your dream off. Putting your dream off makes it hard for you to live with yourself. Yes, putting your dream off makes it hard for you to live with yourself. But at the same time, there's this fear of it. So it's like money will feel like it's the issue, it's the concern. But then as soon as you get it, it gets tied up in things that seem like they're important that aren't that important. So when it comes to this group, like the spirit guidance moving forward, 
we have the dragonfly energy and with the way the dragonfly energy comes out it brings me to um the importance of like being steady with your mind with your thinking not being so quick to change your mind it, it, it brings me to the thought of one minute like saying okay this is the plan and then that quick it's like you change your mind so quick so it's like your mind is always changing so there's never enough like focus long enough on certain things to see it through when it comes to the practical things though like those things happen but when it comes to what's in your heart when it comes to following your dreams uh, when it comes to following your dreams those are the things that gets put to the side but for some people you might find that the more you put that off the more irritated you are and it doesn't make sense because you might have live in the home that you want drive the car you want but at the same time you're irritated at your job or you're irritated with the work that you do because it's not what you really want to do but at the same time it's secure so it's like you're in a secure place but experiencing turbulence in a secure place because your soul wants more so when it comes to say what's next highlights of your next chapter for this group highlights of the next chapter for me is you getting more confirmation of, from the universe about the experience that you truly want to have about the kind of world that you really want to create for yourself is is your next chapter so your next chapter is more confirmation to give you the courage or the strength to put yourself first and give your dreams a shot is is what would be a highlight of your next chapter that's what would be a highlight of your next chapter because like i said at first it feels like money and time is an issue but then that's secured money and time is secured and then even though money and time is secured um, there's still a, you know, with the page of cups in the upright position, this person is open to their creative expression and the guidance in the reversal position. I, I see someone who drinks a lot or smokes weed or does something to be able to cope with them not doing what it is that they want to experience in their heart more than anything. Group number one, it was a pleasure sharing this message with you. If you'd like to book a reading with me or check out my exclusive weekly pick a card readings posted only on Patreon, the links for that is in the description box below. Before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, group number two. So group number two, when it comes to the next chapter of your life, highlights from your the next chapter of your life, what came to mind is someone saying, God darn it, this actually works. It's I think of like, say, someone um, entertaining something and when you entertained it you were hopeful of the possibilities of it but at the same time you were optimistic but you just never you didn't know and it's like you're sitting back like damn this ish works it brings me to the i think of a few things when i say that like i think of this song where it's like the guy i think it's russ and he's like mother f of this stuff works like the manifestation work i think of jay-z when he says about his wife beyonce when he's like you know i told my wife this spiritual stuff really works and when it comes to this group it's like some breakthrough some breakthrough thing happened for you and it's almost like you're pinching yourself at the thought that this works this this actually works this 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 is like i think of like the thought where it's like is this is this my life like this this actually work like i think of someone asking for something and avenge it's like it, it comes through okay so an example i'll share recently i was speaking to 
uh, a family member, a distant family member that I haven't spoken to in a minute. But during the Mercury retrograde, I started reading this book called 801010 that I purchased years ago. But I guess during the Virgo retrograde, um, I felt the need to read this book. So while I was reading the book, after a while, um, you know, I'll pick up the book and this family member will come to mind so strong to send them a copy and I would ignore that thought but it's like I couldn't get peace with the book so finally after like the third time it happening I put the book down hit them up got a confirmation of their address sent them the book and then finally when I would pick up the book to read it they would no longer come to mind I could have peace to read the book again so recently I was speaking to that family member and I guess they had a heart attack which I was aware of but they had a heart attack and they were on like five different prescriptions and they were asking themselves like, and this is a Virgo. So with this being a Virgo person and Virgo dealing with earth and health and whatnot, I guess they were asking themselves like there must be another way for me to help myself. And I guess they were praying, asking, I don't know, but I know I got a strong urge to send them a copy of the book. And I think it's interesting how things work where it's like I picked up this book that I've had forever and finally gave it a full complete read instead of scanning through it, finally read it from front to back. And at the same time, me picking it up, they're also questioning themselves and, you know, wanting to make things better. Send them the copy of the book, told them to hit me up when they're done with it and let me know their thoughts. Yesterday, they hit me up. And they were like, you know, wow, like they started reading the book. They made some changes in their life and of five medications, they're only taking one and it's the blood pressure one, but they're afraid to not take it. But the medication is lowering their blood pressure because I guess the changes they made in their life already allow their blood pressure to be regular. So taking this pill makes it low and they're going to stop taking the pill, but they were just scared they were just scared because of their heart attack situation and how scary it was. But speaking to them and them realizing that they ask, they ask whoever they ask, however they ask, they ask for some guidance. And me who haven't spoken to them in years felt this strong urge to send them a copy. And boom, it's like, wow, this spiritual stuff works. It's like that kind of vibe that I'm getting here where it's like an intertwine of energy and something breaking through and a highlight of your next chapter is where you sit back and you shake your head like this spiritual ish works. So we have the North Node, the number eight, eighth house and Sagittarius. So when it comes to the next chapter, eighth house energy will bring me to spiritual, it's like moth energy, rebirth, a rising of energy. So there's a death and rebirth with the, with the north node energy there also brings destiny pertaining to, so destiny, north node in the eighth house would be destiny towards uncovering certain truth. Maybe it's spirituality, but with Sagittarius energy there, it brings me to higher learning. It, bring, it brings me to exploring, diving deeper um, and understanding certain things on a higher level, like not just scamming through, scanning through like the basic information that's available. It's like traveling deep into a topic buying certain books that you know aren't aren't obvious to the public or diving into certain information that isn't so obvious to everyone but there's this strong urge or need to understand something on a higher level and understanding this thing on a higher level ties into one's destiny in some way so let's add some more cards to this so yeah when it comes to um highlights of your next chapter there's this resurrection there's this um reawakening there's this rebirth as far as your next chapter and for some of you when it comes to your next chapter you could find that you're writing books in your next chapter or public publishing some kind of a blog or a podcast speaking about death and rebirth speaking about spirituality occult things when i say occult things and divination just hidden things things that aren't privy to the public 
And that could be anything from say how now today we're learning about all the different ways of investing and making your money work for you that wasn't privy to the public. I see that as an occult thing. Um, whether it's spiritual things, um, uh, spiritual philosophies, psych psychological things. Like I think of like, say, how the CIA, pay CIA will drop certain information about remote viewing and certain things that we thought once were like fiction, science fiction. But then now those things are made public and through the internet, we all have access to it if we choose to go seek it where before you would have to go to libraries and things to access public publications, where it's like eighth house energy brings me to, you know, accessing all of the, that hidden information that isn't made available for the public. But if you go looking for it, you can find it. So when it comes to this group, it brings me to a diving into um, topics like that, writing about them, speaking about them, um, strong interests, and you know those topics so when it comes to the tarot i love these new cards so these new cards i love so much they are called um earth woman tarot um i shared a link in the description box below if you decide to buy them please purchase them through my link so that i could benefit um if you decide to buy them So when it comes to highlights of your next chapter, so highlights of your next chapter, we have nine of wands energy with the nine of wands energy brings me to um, feeling like say before the nine of wands, I think of the eight of wands energy. So maybe things were moving pretty quickly in the most recent past or major changes has happened in the most recent past and now in this moment like you're pretty much trying to find your way through some kind of an obstacle to make it to the next level when it comes to something and the chariot energy in the upright position shows that you're ready to move forward it's almost like say imagine uh, imagine playing a video game Imagine playing a video game and being at the last level in the game or getting ready to, to do the last level in the video game. This is what I, this is what this would remind me of. So it's almost like um, a highlight of your next chapter is you pretty much preparing to complete a cycle and you're ready to move forward and complete that cycle. A challenge is the ace of swords in the upright position, seven of pentacles in the reversal position so when it comes to say challenge a challenge in the next chapter might be a struggle when it comes to trusting your thoughts trusting the ideas that flow through you could be a challenge or something that you deal with when it comes to say the next chapter so you might get some really good ideas but have a hard time like trusting them so i say write them all down because you'll notice that there is a pattern in them, uh, a level of reoccurrence in thoughts that are really meant for us. And if it's fearful thoughts, then we address them and work through them. But um, when it comes to say unexpected energy, we have the two of wands in the reversal position and the knight of pentacles in the upright position. So again, when it comes to highlights of the next chapter, you might find yourself along the way where you feel a little bit stuck and not sure about how to go about something or how to make something work. Because when I look at, say, the, some challenging energies that appear to me, um, looks like it's with the wand energy where it feels like there's some kind of a delay in momentum. So when it comes to, say, the highlights of the next chapter, you might find that. And when I say next chapter, you've already started on your next chapter. So, you know, with the chapter that you just entered into, um, with the wands energy, it brings me to the importance of patience. It's like there is a level of delay and patience is required when it comes to the energy, like when it comes to the energy, yeah, there's a there's patience with the energy because we have the Knight of Pentacles energy here and Knight of Pentacles, Pentacle energy brings me to 
Knight of Pentacles brings me to starting of something new and the need to move slowly, the need to take your time. Um, you know, they say steady wins. What does they say? Steady, and slow, steady wins the race. It's almost like when you get into the next chapter, you'll find yourself wanting to hurry up the process, but don't allow yourself to hurry up the process. Take your time. So when it comes to this group, I get as you enter into your next chapter right away, you're like, wow, I ask for this and I have it. And you can find yourself dismissing all of the manifestations and wanting to hurry up and focus on another, the future of your life, opposed to just surrendering and enjoying where you are. And I love that you will be doing that where it's like at first entering in, you might find that you want to um, hurry things along. But, you know, I love the outcome energy with the four of swords in the upright position. And this person is gazing at the moon, um, ga gazing at the phases of the moon. And with the four of swords is like being more in a meditative state. And the magician energy comes out underneath it. And with the magician energy coming out underneath it brings me to um, being able to... Uh, connect to the earth and the heavens, being able to become one with the elements that make us up that are all around us is like being able to utilize everything that you've been through to manifest so much more. So I love this energy for you guys, because I get that you guys entering into this new chapter, you ask for certain things and they're being manifested to you and they might even come in super fast. And that first entering into this new chapter, you might be like, oh my God, like I got the car I always wanted. I got the partner I always wanted or the relationship dynamic I always wanted. I got the home I always wanted. I have the financial situation I always wanted. Some things you've always wanted, you have. And your first thought might be, okay, now I want this, that, or the next. And you're going to be, you know, you're going to be guided to be still and, and, and savor the moment of, you know, savor the moment, enjoy all the things that you have that you've always wanted. And you're doing that and in process, in the process of savoring the moment and enjoying these energies, you're manifesting more. So I, I love that. I love that energy in the process of savoring the moment you're manifesting so much more. I love your energy. I love this energy for you guys. And some of you might end up speaking about it, writing about it, or just diving deeper into the occult and understanding how, you know, the physical and metaphysical world works together, like how the magician is tapping into the earth and the heavens, how everything comes together and works together um, to manifest and create our reality. I think of like a new moon energy where it's like, the sun deals with the practical aspects of this realm, the moon, the spiritual, and on a new moon, they conjunct, they come together. So it's like this card will bring me to that, bringing these energies together in order to create more. So I love this energy for you with the panther as spiritual guidance moving forward. In the reversal position, it brings me to not needing to be so aggressive or forceful. It's like surrendering. When it comes to surrendering with your energy, just surrendering. There's no need to fight. There's no need to push. There's no need to pull. It's like you're entering into this beautiful harmonic flow and you're seeing everything coming in, flowing in and out. And there's no need to interrupt that flow. At first, you might find yourself wanting to interrupt the flow, thinking you want things to be a certain way. But after you realize that you don't have to decide where to go next because everything is already set and you're just meant to surrender and enjoy the goodness of it all. And that's clicking for you as you're surrendering and enjoying the goodness of it all. Group number two, it was such a pleasure sharing this message with you. If you'd like to book a reading with me or check out my exclusive weekly picker cards only available on Patreon, the link to book with me or check out my Patreon or both within the description box below. Before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me an orange heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.
Hello, group number three. So group number three, when it comes to the next chapter and highlights from your next chapter, we have the tiger energy. So with the tiger energy coming out and highlights of your next chapter, I get the feeling of like somebody not playing any games. I get the feeling of um, like somebody not playing any games. It's like I get the feeling of someone saying like I've already wasted enough time and I'm not wasting any more of my time. I'm not wasting any more of my time. I'm not wasting any more of my energy. Um, when it comes to say your next chapter, I get someone being very intentional, being very focused. And to some, it might even seem like you're being aggressive. You're being forceful. You're being dominant. If you're a if you're, um, you know, female, you might be in your masculine energy when it comes to entering into your next chapter. And when I say the next chapter, I mean now. I mean, the next chapter has already started. So you might find yourself feeling a little bit more forceful, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more direct. I get the energy of someone ready to get things done. It's like ready to handle business. Like I'm ready to handle business things need to get done. And I'm just not in the business of wasting time is what I'm getting with the tiger energy. It's like, yeah, not in the business to waste any time is what I'm getting when it comes to say this next chapter. So when it comes to this group, your next chapter is one where you're bossing up. You are bossing up, whatever that looks like. And when I say bossing up for this group, for me, bossing up could look like, um, bossing up meaning like you're taking control over your life and your situation and you're not making excuses for yourself it's like very unapologetic energy is what i'm getting for this group when it comes to the highlights from the of the next chapter it's like you're not apologizing anymore so i think of like say and i used to be this where it's like i remember in my deep people pleasing days where it's like when i would speak up for myself and if there were any thoughts of me hurting someone's feelings in the process of speaking up and telling my truth, I would apologize. Even I would apologize even when I didn't do anything wrong. And I remember one day something said, don't apologize. Like, did you mean what you said? Yes. Did you say it um, in, a, in a hurtful way? No, don't apologize. And ever since then, like, I only apologize when I mean it. So, you know, maybe that's what's also happening for this group. It's like, yeah, that's what's happening for this group. We have the 11th house energy. We have Leo and we have Uranian energy. So when it comes to this group, you may have found that in the past, when it comes to being in the presence of your friend groups or your peers, like maybe you would play yourself down. But with Leo energy or Uranian energy there, like I'm getting that you're allowing yourself to stand out. You're allowing yourself to shine. There is no editing of yourself anymore when it comes or in this chapter. There's no more editing of yourself. There's no more playing yourself down. I think of like how some people will uh, every chance they get, they always talk bad about themselves in order to make other people happy because maybe they're used to being in the presence of others who would be intimidated by them. And that's where they develop that, that attitude or that way of negatively speaking about themselves in order to make other people feel at ease. And it's like that stopping it's like you're allowing yourself to to shine, to be innovative and even rebel when it comes to your peer groups and not rebel because, oh, you want to be problematic or confrontational. But it's like that wasn't funny. So I'm not going to laugh. Or I don't resonate with what you're saying, so I'm not going to agree because I don't resonate. And, you know, and, and I could re I could relate to this energy here as I'm speaking on it, because I've noticed a shift over time as I learned about, you know, being a people pleaser and all these things. And as I grew within myself and worked on my self-worth and all of that, it's like I could see that where in certain situations, um, I would go out of my way to make sure the other person felt comfortable or felt okay. And and, and okay, so this, the way I see it is, say I invite someone to my home 
or I'm in the salon when I was in the salon and you come into my salon to get your hair done or you come to see me. If I invite you to my home or you're in my personal space, I personally feel like it is my responsibility to make you feel at home. Like it is my responsibility to make you feel comfortable, to get your guards down, to make you feel safe, to make you feel secure, create an environment where you can trust me and you know, and I don't take that trust lightly. Like, you know, so it's like, say someone come in the salon, whatever we speak about when they leave it, it dies with, you know, with them leaving is dead to where sometimes they'll remind me of our conversation. It's like, oh, because it's like, no matter as juicy as it sounds like, like basically that bond there. So in that situation, it's different. Someone in my home, in my space, or I'm working with a person as a nurturer, when I'm working with people, like I like to make them feel good because I just feel like that's my responsibility. They're in my space. So like little babies, like I'm responsible for them while they're in my space. But other than that, like, no, there, and even in my space, yes, it's my responsibility to create a safe and comforting environment, but not to the extent of me like like wearing myself out. So it's like just because you're in my home or in my space doesn't mean that I have to validate you every second because, you know, validate a person every second because their insecurities is just exhausting and just just you know, controlling their world, controlling their life and the environment and whatnot. Um, no, but yes, when it comes to this energy, the 11th house energy, I'm just thinking of groups and with Uranian and Leo energy, I think of someone rebelling, like, I don't agree with what you're saying. So I don't got to come out and tell you that I don't agree, but I'm not going to uh, make you feel good about what you said because you need my validation because I don't agree. I don't, I don't agree with what you're saying. I'm not going to fight you but I don't agree or I'm not interested in that or I don't like that. Um, when it comes to this group, I just get, um, when it comes to highlights of your next chapter, there's no more people pleasing. There's no more um, denying your truth for everybody else's. When it comes to your next chapter, um, I hope that there's, an, there's like real confidence and not anger. Because this energy here could be either. It could be that you've worked on yourself and there's genuine self-worth and love for yourself. Or it could be anger. And from the space of anger, then a person is being rebellious just for the sake of rebelling, not rebelling from a, a, a space of like, um, not from a space of like, okay, I've looked into this and I don't agree with it. So, you know, Make sure you're coming from a place of love, love for yourself and confidence within yourself to the point that like, you know, confident within yourself to know that like you're safe for choosing you and your opinions. And also to sometimes I feel like when we feel sorry for people, we're really projecting onto them why we'll feel the need to like um, validate them or you know, validate them or agree with them or whatever. I love the order of these cards right here. And I'm going to touch on that in a second. And it makes me nervous at the thought of like, maybe for some here, anger does play a part. And um, anger does play a part in the whole rebellious nature when it comes to friend groups and friendships and things like that. So, um... All right. So when it comes to overall energy here, we have the tower. So with the tower energy here and the queen of pentacles in the reversal position, um, this new chapter and what I just described could have came from a major breakup, major betrayal, major disappointment, major heartache. So um, whether it's recent or say within the past few years, you coming to realization of certain things and that creates tower moments and situations. But what I love about this tower compared to um, what I'm normally used to with the, um, with the Rider White um, cards is that this tower didn't fall apart. It's just on fire. And there's only one person falling out. And the hair of the person falling out is similar to the hair of the person in the star card. 
and the star card comes right after the tower card and it's like they both have similar long wavy hair so i don't know if that's intentional telling the story or not so with this card though there's a strike and i like that the water is purple and i feel like that's not a coincidence because of purple water brings me to like spirituality um spiritual insight and so this strike in the tower brings me to some major shift happen and this person falls out of their tower when i think of the tower i think of like so, something happens that causes a person to fall out of a secure state a secure space so something shakes up someone's world and they fall out of a secure place so it's like a perspective a way of looking at the world something that you found security and stability in something shifted with that security and stability and from that shift in security and stability it probably also affected your financial security and stability and if that's the case i feel like that spirit's way of pushing a person out is like when i look at this it's like the mother eagle is stirring up the nest so the baby eagle can fall out and learn how to fly so to me it's like a shift in security or stability happens something falls apart where something was secure and it's no longer safe and it also affects your financial situation in a way and in the challenge we have the star card in the reversal position and the queen of cups so in the reversal in the challenge position with these energies reversed there might be some bitterness here where it's like this situation happened and someone's having a hard time forgiving a hard time releasing what has happened but most importantly, a hard time gaining the lessons from this thing that has happened. So for me, I gain lessons from the things that I've been through by looking at my role in it. Even if it's not my fault, what is my role? What could I do different? What could I have done different? So with a person seeing their role, they know, okay, if my role, okay, so say there's a situation where I was betrayed. And my role in it is that I always want to fix people. So because I want to fix people, I take on projects. So instead of seeing this person as they are, I saw the potential in them. And from focusing on their potential, I disregard my intuition and the guidance that was telling me that this is a dangerous situation. So me owning my role in it is owning the fact that, okay, no longer seeing potential in a person, see them as they are. That's how I gain, that's how I would gain a lesson in a situation like that and make sure it never happens again, where next time I won't see potential in a person or filling in the, fill in the blanks for them. I'll see them as they are. So with this group, with the tiger coming out and what I mentioned, I feel like for some, you might find that in certain friend groups and situations, like you might be sarcastic or ang sarcastic or angry hopefully that's not the case but but the story this is telling tying with these and the tiger energy that's what i'm getting whoops the remote fell for my um ring light but anyways when it comes to say um when, what's unexpected is the page of pentacles and the ace of cups so i'm i'm clearly wrong with this where it's like at first yes something happened you were disappointed and there was some bitterness where this is concerned but with the page of pentacles i think of someone deciding to start fresh start with a fresh you know take a fresh start i love how the ace and the page both dealing with fresh energy so there's fresh intuitive energy and with the pentacle whether it's money or a new way deciding to build a new way start a new path i love that those energies come together so it's like you deciding to create a new path for yourself and i love that the judgment energy is here with this judgment card this person is here taking a shower in the moonlight and i love this because i think of with this judgment card it's like i think of renewing there's like a renewing in energy like i think of like how good it feels to wash my hair and this person is washing their hair and taking a shower and i think of like whenever i wash my hair i just feel brand new like it just feels so good like it just there's something renewing of it or if something about my spirit feels renewed and it's like i love that feeling and i feel like for you guys like the next chapter in your life like there's a renewing and i like that the five of swords is in the reversal position because with the five of swords in a reversal position it's like with this group you guys have the ability to like 
cut a person in half with your words and you you choose not to it's like when it comes to this group you have the ability it's like your your intuition and your intelligence is so powerful and you have the ability to really harm people with it and choose not to what i mean by that is imagine someone super intuitive and someone comes at you and says something really nasty to you and with your intuitive ability you can pick up and see clearly what is their worst fears and biggest insecurities and you can choose to just like demolish them by responding in a way with their biggest fears and insecurities to the point where their mind is blown like how the hell did you know that where did you get that information from and because there's truth to it and they know it's truth to it it would demolish them and instead of using your powers in that way you choose not to use your powers in that way instead you know they talk their ish and you allow them to just have it with the spirit guidance moving forward the lamb i get a surrendering when it comes to your energy so with this group i like how we entered into your chapter with this uh, this frustration this anger this saltiness this bitterness and i love how it transformed or when i look at this half of the card you know there's like unrest and then when i look at this half there's like peace and forgiveness you look there's more purple um when it comes to this half of the cards where with this half is like the skies are darker the skies are darker but with this half the skies are dark also but there's a lot more purple in the skies which to me tapping into that spiritual ability of yours and not allowing things to take control of you it's like taking your power back and not allowing the bitterness of anything that you've been through to take a hold of you so yeah that's what i'm getting um group number three it was a pleasure sharing it with you if you'd like to book a reading with me or check out my exclusive uh weekly pick a card readings only available on patreon the link the link to book with me and check out my patreon are both within the description box below but before you go anywhere please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a yellow heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you in the next video love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does take care of yourself and i look forward to seeing you in the next video